Welcome to HyperX. I know this isn't my usual channel. My name is Glitch, aka Glitch City, aka Glitch X City, depending on what platform you are on. And y'all know we're gonna be playing Fuser. Fuser is a game that was developed by Harmonix. Who developed it though? Okay, yeah, it was developed by Harmonix. Harmonix also did Rock Band and Guitar Hero, so I'm pretty sure y'all at least heard of the games that they've done before. And I'm currently playing it on my Switch. I'm gonna let y'all know. Yes, I work with music, but I have no rhythm whatsoever. <laughs> I bought a whole controller trying to get better at rhythm, and now they made it into a video game. <laughs> we'll be doing freestyle, but I want to show y'all uh, some customization before we hop into it. All right, all right. So we have a lot of we have a lot of lot of stuff here to go through, and I really appreciate uh, just like different type of body types and skin colors that are in this game in general, which I wasn't aware of when I first hit the demo. And then, look, there's so many facial features here. I like the evening and nighttime vibe. So check this out, y'all. Time of day, you can change it to you know, early morning, early morning, a little a little bit of dawn. You can t change it to you know, straight up daytime. Evening and night, I really like because it adds to, it just adds to the atmosphere, in my opinion. All right, so let's drop, let's drop this. So I'm gonna quickly like go through the controls super quick. I'm using my, my right analog as a fader, which is nice. As opposed to like in control when you have like the automatic faders as well. You can hit the track. You can solo the track, which is fine. And what I found out was really helpful, so in the actual DJ controller, again, I'm still learning. I'm still learning IRL and in this game as well. I learned about cues from James Landino, which helped me a lot the first time I tried to DJ. I was like, oh, cues are super awesome. But I never really got a chance to apply it. And as you look in here, you can see the cues for the different, different sounds, basically, which is pretty nice. I, li I like that they added that. So we'll drop this in there. And you can see perfect pickup drop. You can always, you know, do a random rise over here and bam. Just switch it out. Switch it out like that, which is super sick. And then that's where you would put in a drop. It's kind of like an actual DJ controller right there. So we raise the BPM. We also change the key of this, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's drop in some vocals. And let's get another instrument in here. Let's add a keyboard. I want to wait for a cue so you guys can see. There we go. Yeah, yeah I like so much. <laughs> a little improvement. Nice, nice. I went ahead and muted this so I can hear what's going on over here. Alright, let's get a flanger in here. I'm not too big of flangers myself, uh, even in some of my mixes. The only time I do flangers is if, like if I have nothing else to do. Oh, I messed up. I messed up that drop. Oh man, that's a button that is at the bottom to the right. Oh yeah, let's do a let's do a rise up. Oh, uh, let's do a, let's do a smart one. Let's raise up to 140. Is it gonna go to 140? Oh, it's gonna go to 1. 43. All right, there we go. All right, I need to drop a beat. Okay, all right, I'm down. All right, let's bring in some custom piano again. Make a loop out of it. Check this out. Hey. All right. I actually don't know how to end it off from freestyle. <laughs> we literally did that for like what, 40 minutes? Hey, that was sick. I liked it. Did you guys like that? I was feeling it. <laughs> like, I literally blacked out for like a solid second, too. You need the air horn. Oh my God, you're right. All right. See that that makes me excited for actually putting this into play. I just need to translate everything I learned from here to that. 